Hi guys, Sam here. Welcome back. The Beijing Winter Olympic Games is coming, and it has seen around 91 delegations joining the competition in China, as compared to 206 that travel to Tokyo for the Summer Olympic Games. So you must be wondering that why the numbers is much smaller, and you may also heard that no any leaders of Western countries that will attend the game in responding to the diplomatic boycott that announced by the US. So today here in this video, I will explain why so many countries do not enter the winter game and how we think of this so-called diplomatic boycott. So let's begin. So first, why less countries are participating in the winter games? So actually there could be multiple reasons, but the major one is the weather condition. Um, as we know, the athletes should practice on snow or ice, as some countries find this in short supply. You know, although some tropic the countries have sent their athletes to the game, but none of them has ever won a medal. Let's say Africa, out of 54 nations in the continent, only five of them have sent their competitors. And like Kenya had uh, athletes qualified, but later, you know, withdraw as well. The second reason is the pandemic. You know, this reason is uh, obvious. So here I won't say too much about this. Third, the diplomatic boycott. The right groups criticized the International Olympic Committee for awarding the game to China and state that the country's treatment of some uh, Muslim minority groups was inhuman. Human right again. So I personally understand and respect you know, the, the others' boycott towards everything. So however, I will also share my personal point of view, like how I think of this so-called diplomatic boycott. Number one, do not productize sports. What's the most important role of sports? Uniting people. The people that watch game together, share happiness together, and we as audience and fans could see the spirit of the strength, the teamwork, the flexibility, and one more important, the sports can teach us never give up. So the, the spirit of sports are pure. They should not be practiced. Number two, beware of the politician's intention. So let's think about a few questions first. Have you ever been to China or more specific like the Tibet? Have you ever talked to the Chinese people directly or maybe just even online? Now, have you ever judged the politician's real intention? Like, why they told you something like that? So imagine that. Do you really believe that a farmer in the state of Lower will care about the refugees in Libya? Do you really believe that you know, the uh, Australian fisher will care about what's happening in Ukraine? So what I want to say is that your emotion is cheap and it, and it is easy to be utilized to become a vote. So what you know is what people want you to know. Number three, be open to nerf on the others. Together for a shared future is you know, the China's wish for motto for the Inter-Olympic Games. And this slogan means that humanity should work in harmony to conquer the hardships like uh, such as the pandemic and its the economic fallout. So we also hope that the others could join us to break down the barriers and the prejudice and illuminate the way forward. So let's think something in different angle and we will see things different. So in one word, if you ask me how I think of the diplomatic boycott, I understand and respect, but I don't care about it too much. So again, if you want to know anything about China, please subscribe me and comment below. I will keep sharing the true voice from China. Thanks for your time.